What's up, people? Internet. My name's Alex, and you're watching Major League Nerd. Today, we're going to be making an Orktober outpost or watchtower kind of thing. Uh, we're combining the Orktober and Oktoberfest, hence the colors. But first thing we're going to do is grab some balsa wood. You can use some popsicle sticks. You can really use anything you want. But I'm going to be popping those off into four planks of five inches each. And we're going to be making a bit of a frame in which we're going to lay down some planks right here. Right there, we're just gonna lay it down nice and uneven, just like the orcs do. We don't want it uniform, we don't want a structure, we want it to look scavenged. After that, I grabbed some foam core because I was trying to figure out how I'm going to connect the legs. I need a bit of structure, a little bit of connectivity, and the foam core does just the trick right here. After attaching all the legs to add a bit more structure, I connected it all through some planks and some super glue. This allows it to not shake around. This, it's just enough to make it stand, but not too much where it looks like any thought into it. It's kind of like, hey, the slaps all together. From there, I grab some cardboard or some chipboard and I start cutting these into just some sharp, rigid shapes. Just think of an orc grabs a chainsaw sort of kind of thing. I'm starting to really just shave down the edges, giving it a bit more of a rustic look, and then dropping some super glue on it and attaching these together gives it a bit more of the scavenge look. It looks like, you know, they grabbed just a bunch of metal pieces from the last war and put it all together. From there, I grabbed some corrugated paper, which I glued uh, to some chipboard to give it a little bit of structure. And I do a similar thing where I just kind of cut it up into random shapes and we're going to use that to add a little bit of detail later. Glue on these corrugated chipboard to the side, making a bit of a metal walkway. You see, I'll put a plank on the side to give it some support and then it just makes it look like it really makes it all look like afterthought which kind of works out really well because a lot of this for me is just making it up on the fly and seeing how it goes one thing i do regret in this is that i didn't test to see how steep this was so i would grab a model if you're worried about if the model slide uh, if you get it at the right angle the model won't slide down but i would check it From there, I take the other car corrugated cardboard along with some of the other chipboard and I start to make a rim around the top, giving it a bit of a bit of a barrier, a bit of not so much safety from falling off, but more so safety from bullets. Really don't don't make this look good, guys. After that, I cut out a few teeth like things and glued those on. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to grab some sprues, cut those up, and you can glue them onto the teeth. I'll be gluing them onto the wood as well to make it look like just these rivets that were just uh, shot into it to keep it in place. And see, tried to add them all at the connecting points. Quick black primer and then we're going to begin the painting process of just painting the planks like they're wood some people want to paint a metal go for it i'm just going for a wood outpost painting the top wood a bit of a different color i think mine was a little too dark which made it look honestly really nice so i had to scuff it up a little bit later but i just like doing a bit of a two-tone if you really wanted to you could paint up each plank differently from there we're just painting this all metal Like I said, this is Orktoberfest, a combination of Oktoberfest and Orktober. So we're going to be using some red, yellow, and black. Figured, you know, make it look nice. So we're painting the teeth a little bit of gray, uh, just to make it look more like metal. From here, I've washed it and then dry brushed it. Just did a little bit of a time jump just because you didn't see that. And you can see it's added a lot of weathering to it. Not only did I wash it with a black wash and then dry brush it with this bit of a khaki color, I added a bit of green, uh, green wash to add a little bit of uh, almost mold. Not really sure if I like how it turned out. From there, I grabbed some uh, sponge and some bronze paint. I begin to dab the metal parts, giving it this look of rustiness. 
get a little bit more black wash and I go to the rivets as I'm starting to starting to dab that black wash on the rivets and I see to help it drag down, bring almost like this rainwater, this rust water started to pour down, collect on those rivets and drop. I noticed that after I added the rust, it was a little too bright, so I added a bit more black wash to make it all dingy. And I get some of the technical paint, technical paint, blood for the blood god, and just begin to splatter that everywhere. If you have a toothbrush, it probably works better. You want something with some good firm bristles. You can see some some blood splatter there. There's more blood on my finger than there is trying itself. And here you have it, your janky wooden orc post. Happy Orktober, guys. Happy Orktober fest. May all your choppers be sharpened and your sluggers be lucky. Because, guys, this is a beautiful and fun quick build. I hope you enjoyed this. Leave a comment, leave a like. And if you want some more terrain building, some more Warhammer stuff, hit that subscribe button. My name is Alex, and this is Major League Nerd.